What is up guys, it's the Soul Blade here and today we're going to continue on with our uh, Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke. So we have two team members currently, we have Frosty the Snover Man and we have Frog our Toxicroak who is our starter. Uh, after the last episode I went back to the Pokemon Center and I just healed up. So we are ready to get straight into it, gonna start my timer here and uh, let's start off with a battle against Mikey. Okay, a Bulbasaur. I love Bulbasaur, it's such a good Pokemon, but unfortunately Frosty is going to take him out probably in one hit. I'd be very surprised if he didn't. Okay, we are not taking him out. Bulbasaur is beefy boy. Okay, but this one's definitely going to take it out, and uh, Frosty may gain a level from this, honestly. Let's see here. Uh, so, nope, never mind. Ooh, Hariyama, that's a... Uh... That sounds like a frog problem. So today's episode, um, I'm assuming that we're going to be actually getting to Violet City. Um, probably not facing the gym leader. We will get two new encounters today though. Oh, this is actually terrible. I don't have very good moves for this. You don't have like belly drum or anything, do you? There's no way. Let's see how much a tackle does. Six damage, or five? Five damage. I don't know how to count. Uh, we're going to Poison Sting, and he won't have Guts unless he randomized the Guts. And we got the Poison, which is what I was wanting. Crazy that you still hit those Tackles while well, you have lowered Accuracy. But when I go for Tackles, I get that 5% miss 100% of the time. Well, probably not 100% of the time, but it's definitely one of those things. Thank you. Oh yeah, I forgot that Frog has Drizzle. Ooh, that's going to be a good ability. So, uh, something that I realized the other day, uh, so, Heat Proof, obviously our Snover has Heat Proof. It's not going to have it when it evolves into a Bomb of Snow, which is kind of sucks, honestly. Um, but something that is kind of neat to point out is that Heat Proof halves the damage from Fire-type moves. Snover's four times weak to uh, Fire-type moves, so basically his his damage from it would be cut down to just super effective instead of like four times effective so it's just double damage with drizzle up that cuts it down again by 25 percent so it's definitely not as dangerous so like we we actually have a really good setup for uh frosty to be able to do things again it would be a lot better if uh it would be a lot better if he would have it when he evolves into a bomb snow unless it gets randomized to it again he won't though unfortunately what is with everything having drizzle this is like the fourth third or fourth pokemon that we've come across so far that has drizzle it's kind of insane honestly let's see it's toxicroak cascoon miss magius there was something else. I feel like there was a wild Pokemon that we found that also had Drizzle. But yeah, like three Pokemon already? That's crazy. And before we find out that every Pokemon either has Drizzle or Heat Proof. <laughs> That'd be insane. Uh, Barboach. Ooh, we can, we can stay in with Frosty here and hit this with a Razor Leaf. So... I think once Frosty gets up to level 8, I'm going to concentrate more on Frog. Um, Frosty's nice because he's got Ice-type and Grass-type moves, which is really good. But Frog is kind of lacking in his moveset. So I I'm actually going to switch Frog to the front now. I kind of want to hit level 10 with Frog before we get to Sprout Tower, um, because Frog is our main, main, main boy. So... Just gotta make sure. Wait, was this a new route? Oh, well, we're not catching this anyways. So even if it is a new route, there's no point. I swear I thought I, th I thought that I saw the new route thing pop up. But there's just no way. Uh, we're gonna mud slap this thing though, so. Oof, oof. Ah, uh, that's 10 damage. Yeah, we're in crit range. We're running regardless. Like, I think this was a new route, but there's no way. 
This thing doesn't have slow start. Would have been broken. Probably should have just thrown a ball on it. Are we on Route 3? Uh, or Route 30? I can't tell if this is... I... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Zoom? So to switch? I don't know what this means. Uh... I guess we can go inside Dark Cave, get our encounter, and then when we walk back out, we'll find out if it is or not. I think that Reggie Gigas was our encounter, though. Which is crazy. Uh, we are going to use a potion real quick, because... I don't want to chance... Uh, I definitely don't want to chance something just crazy coming out and then taking out Frog, especially since he's four times weak to Psychic-type moves. Ooh, good music. We're just going to save the entrance. No reason not to. I know there's some items a little further back, but I don't know how to navigate this place very well. Alright, let's see what our encounter is. Dark Cave Encounter? I will take a Nidorino. Oh my. Oh, 100% take this. Um, Kind of worried that we'll kill it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna toss the ball, see see what we do. Um, if we don't have a chance of capturing this, then I'm gonna hit it with a poison sting. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it with a poison sting. Oh, oh wait, okay, it's level two. What am I what am I worried about, guys? Oops, definitely don't want to go back into there yet. We're gonna hit it with a poison sting. Hope I don't get a crit. It can't get poisoned, so. Oh, that's that's simplistic simple so we're going to just keep using poison sting here hopefully i get a crit here i'd be down okay right next turn we'll put it in perfect range to capture it it is level two though so it's probably not going to get much action we can switch train it a little bit though and then just hope that you know uh i'm gonna try to catch it now I don't really want to chance the crit now that it's within kill range. Go ahead and toss a Pokeball. See what we get. Well, not see what we get, but you know what I mean. Okay, yeah, we should be able to catch this thing. I may cut this out if it goes on too long, so just a fair warning. Hopefully we have enough Pokeballs for this, though. Let's go, we got Nidorino. Now we just need a Moonstone. Okay, let's see, what will his name be? All right guys, so we are going to just name him Tantrum. Because I don't know, like I, I feel like when I see a Nidorino, like a Nido King specifically, when I see their sprites, it just, you know, combined with Thrash that Nidorino, uh, sorry, that Nido King gets, I just see, I just see a Pokemon throwing a Tantrum. So yeah, so Tantrum is his name. Uh, we have no berries. Kinda stinks. Well, I'm gonna use the potion on Tantrum. Ooh, Tantrum has an item, too. Alright, let's check out Tantrum. Carbos, okay, we'll take that. That's some money. I'm probably going to sell that. Uh, quirky Nature. I don't remember what that does. Lightning Rod? I mean, that's pretty decent. Honestly. Um, kind of stinks. Well, actually, he won't keep it. Good. Never mind. He won't keep it when he evolves, so can't complain. I also did not see if this was Route 31 or not. Pretty sure that it was. Which means, yep, okay. So Regigigas was our encounter. Unfortunate, uh, but we can't really do anything about it, so. Yeah, we got a Nidorino now that Tantrum's on our team. Let's see what this bug catcher's got for us. Four Pokemon, he's starting out with a Luxia. Wow, this is pretty dang good for us. Um,. We're going to start off with a Leer. 
as does Luxio. But my Leer is better than yours. Look how awesome this looks. Like, I love the newer games, don't get me wrong, but like, there's just something special about sprite-based games. Okay, we don't die- oh, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Um, he's using Tackle, we'll just go out into- we'll go out into Frog. Just because I don't really think that, uh, I don't think the Snover, uh, that Frosty can really do much to us. So, and we can just make pretty quick work of this with uh, Mud Slap. It is a special type, or a special move, but yeah, it's still two shots, so. Not really any uh, bad side to using it, if you ask me. Uh, so yeah, just a heads up. So, I know that last time I said this episode was going to go up on Friday, I decided to change it to Wednesday. Um... Reason being is I'm going to actually put up TCG openings on Friday until I'm out of TCG stuff to do. Um, ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm kind of worried about the rain boosted Empoleon, but we're going to, we can't really do too much to it other than Mud Slap, so. Oh, it's only level three though. Okay, we're fine. But yeah, so, um,. TCG stuff coming up on Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday will be Final Fantasy X uh, right now. My Saturdays and Sundays are going to be pretty much just JRPG stuff, um, at least for now. I'm also going to start streaming pretty consistently beginning probably next week um, on Twitch. So once I start doing that, I'll go ahead and make a little update video about that. Um, Wow, everything just... <laughs> All kinds of electric types here. But yeah, so we're going to... We're going to start streaming on Twitch soon. And... I was going to... Nice. Um, I was going to wait until this dummy battery got in. And I did get one. Problem being... Well, that kind of stinks. Um, the problem being... The dummy battery that I ordered, I think I mentioned this before, um, I think it was on Final Fantasy though, and not in this series. The dummy battery doesn't work. Uh, it worked for like five minutes and then it said, LOL, can't use basically exactly what my camera said. Uh, so they will be just chill, no cam streams until I get that battery. Um, not really anything I can do about it to be honest. So. Yeah, that's just the way it is, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. That is my luck, after all. Okay, yeah, we're getting hit with a fake tears. And we're paired. <sighs> I'm really trying not to use speed up. Uh... If you watched my last series, you would probably know that I did that a lot towards the end, and I made a lot of dumb mistakes because of it. Nice. Wow, that did so much- Oh, is Powder Snow a physical move? Or no, it's a special move. That's what I meant. And Snover's a physical Pokemon. Okay. Sure, I'll take some berries. Yeah, other than- other than Youngster- what is it? Youngster Joey? Burn heal, we can take that. That's a terrible randomized item. Wait, what? Didn't I already grab this? Huh. I don't know. But yeah, so... Oh no. Wait, can I not run with Tantrum? Tantrum might not be able to flee. Okay. Whew. I mean, Regid Gigas is still pretty slow, but... Wow. We're just gonna... Ooh, an Ambipom would have been really sick. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, I was kind of worried about Tantrum not being able to uh, get away from that. And we're gonna walk through this grass. Okay. I don't battle you, do you? Oh, right, this is the thing that's like, hey, if you battle people, you can... You can save the battles for replays. 
That was pretty cool for, um, I remember watching a lot of Hayden and, uh, Shofu doing a lot of Wi-Fi battles. That was a really neat thing for them to be able to do. Ooh, this is kind of framey. I'm not sure if you guys can really tell, because I think the YouTube will just up put it, like, upscale, not up, oh my gosh. I think the YouTube just upscales it. The recording should be fine, the music might be a little bit odd. Yeah, I might have to mess with that later. Um, so this guy... Oh, okay, well, this stuff was supposed to be... Uh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, that guy was supposed to have randomized trades. That must not work. Um, I think we get something from the school, but we're gonna buy more Pokeballs first and foremost. Okay, let's see what the randomized section of the Mart has. Netball. Maybe they're not randomized? Oh, I have, like, no money, too. Didn't I fight, like, three or four trainers? Well, we'll go ahead and take that, then. I swear I should have more money than that. That's a little bit odd. Um, but we're going to buy... We'll buy four more Pokeballs. Let's see, Antidotes, we have four, two... I'll buy another Paralyzed Heal, because we did get Paralyzed. And we got six potions. Uh, might buy a couple more potions. Just because... The, I, I always remember the boss at the top of Sprout Tower being a little bit difficult. But yeah, so we have... Okay, guys, I'm back. I think I fixed a little bit of a lagging issue that I was having. Alright. So we are going to uh, get an encounter here. Hi, guy. We also obviously have some battles to partake in. Ooh, okay, wait, hang on. Okay, guys, um, again, I'm back. Sorry. Oh, oh, that's not bad. Oh, um, but I think that he put sand up. Yeah, he put sand up, so that kind of stinks. Um, I really just want Tantrum to be able to take stuff out. While we're still, like, relatively low levels, the problem is that... Um... Even though things are still low level, we really <laughs> haven't gotten a decent Mon to fight. So... Yeah, I, I think, uh, by the way, I think that all of, like, the lagging and the frameage issues, the slowdown and stuff, that should all be fixed now. Just had to mess with a couple of the settings, um, that I had. And that should be fixed. Also, sorry about the aspect ratio on last episode. It was, uh, pretty bad. And, uh, like, black bars on the side and everything, and it just, I didn't notice it in editing at all. Well, I, I did notice it in editing. I didn't notice it during the recording. Um, and the reason is, is that I have to run my program at full screen when I'm playing the game. And that, I wasn't able to see, like, my OBS that was recording my face, the bottom screen, or the top screen. So, it was a little bit of one of those things that I was kind of fretting something would happen because I wasn't able to see things. And I kind of keep checking because occasionally my HDMI cable for my camera also like spazzes out. Nice, level four now. Now we might be able to do some stuff with Tantrum. A Furret. I don't really trust a Furret. I don't know what Furret gets. Um, as a moveset. I mean, I'll see. I'll leer it. We'll see what it can do to me. Kinda worried. Oh. Okay. Good one for it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, let's just see how much Peck does. That's not terrible. What does this do? It's also not terrible. Okay, um, I'm going to leer, and then we should be able to take it out in two more hits. And this will be Tantrum's first KO. And this is a fully evolved Pokemon that we're fighting. Uh, that did four damage. We should live on three if we get critted. I don't know what this does, though. Okay, yeah, we gotta heal now. 
Oh, we're gonna take three turns, I think, to KO it now. Um, yeah, we're gonna heal with a potion. So, that's one of the things that I think a lot of people kind of overlook when they're doing Nuzlocks, right? They they sit there and they 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 see that they're like, oh, you know, I have ten health left, and it dealt, you know, like. Well, I guess that's a bad example. Like, oh, okay, like, I have 11 health left, and it dealt 5. Wait, no, 6. <laughs> it dealt 6 damage, so I can live my next hit. Problem is, you don't take into account crits, and then that's how you lose a lot of mons. Because crits are way more common, as any Nuzlocker can tell you. And then people are like, well, I couldn't control it, it was a crit. And it's like, well, you could have healed or switched out. Level 6? Oh, close. Tantrum's getting up there now. That's why I don't have much money. I'm sending it to mom. Um, we're gonna just keep going. I don't think that we're gonna have to wait. Big root. That's. Ooh, that's gonna be fantastic. Big root. Um, I believe is the hold item that increases, um, HP regained from like Giga Drain, Mega Drain, Absorb. Leech Life, too, I think, would fall into that category. So that's pretty cool. Oh, I need to switch uh, Peck to my first move. I don't like having a status move as my first move. Okay, three damage. Is this how you do that? Uh, I think I have to go. After the battle, I think I'm going to have to go and... Uh... Oh, Pidgey has Truant. That's so sad. I love Pidgey. I don't know, maybe I knew that. Maybe we already fought a Pidgey. Level 6 for Tantrum, though. Wow. Um, Electric? I... See, the thing that kind of stinks is that we don't really have... Um, because obviously Tantrum has Lightning Rod, so Electric-type moves can't hurt him. But we also don't have anything to hit Electric-types. So... It's a little bit unfortunate obviously because I mean we don't really have anything to do with it Azuril, uh we'll just go ahead and take out with Frosty everyone's close to the same level now plus we should be able to take this thing down with a quick razor leaf it's only level 3 and this should get us to level 8 with Frosty as well Let's see. Um, before we go to the top, um, I'm definitely going to find my encounter. It's also night. So, whatever the gas link... Oh, wait, no, I think I have it set to where it doesn't uh, do that. Master Ball. Give me a Master Ball. Okay, we're rolling into money. Let's get it. Alright, what's our encounter? For Sprout Tower, it is... Okay, I'll take a Pikachu. Not bad. Uh, wait, what? Wait, huh? Wait, I'm confused. Oh, Lightning Rod doesn't make me immune to it? Ugh, that stinks, I forgot. Lightning Rod doesn't make me immune. Well, I guess it's okay that I use Growl. Lightning Rod does not make me immune to Electric-type moves. Um, it makes it to where all lightning type moves or all electric type moves hit me maybe it's in like later generations that do that i don't know um we can take another thunder shock though even if it's a crit we can actually take another one even if it's a crit <laughs> so um yeah uh that's really unfortunate actually uh, that's terrible um, I think it's later generations that made that change. I, I guess I could be wrong also. Maybe that's just not a thing and I thought that it was. But, let's see. Okay, we caught our Pikachu. And if you watched our last series, then you would know that uh, we actually had a female Pikachu as our starter. This one's not female, but we are going to name him Sparky. This is obviously named after after Richie's Pikachu in the anime. Um, I just I always 
I had a Pikachu named Sparky in my original Silver playthrough, so this is pretty fitting. Okay, Gentle Nature, which is all right, I guess. And Immunity, okay, that's actually decent. Um, We're going to go ahead and put Sparky up front. We're going to heal Tantrum and Sparky with potions. Uh, not too much time left in this episode, but we should be able to get a couple more trainer battles in. And then we should be able to start off next episode uh, defeating the uh, monk at the top of this tower. As well as doing our first gym battle. Well, let's just hope that it all goes according to plan. This is not according to plan. Okay, I don't know what Blaziken has. Thundershock, though, we're gonna hope for a paralysis if... Okay. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I'm going into Tantrum. What? <laughs> tantrum has Peck. We also have... Actually, I'm gonna... I feel like I'm gonna go into Frog instead. Reason being, I don't know exactly what this Blaziken's going to have, but this will weaken its Fire-type moves if it has Ember. Um, and I also have Mud Slap. So we can take this down. But also Pikachu did absolutely nothing to that thing. I mean, okay, I guess it is a fully evolved Pokemon. So but yeah, the Drizzle is really going to come in clutch for uh, fire types, especially with Frosty. I'm pretty dang excited about having Drizzle on my... Um, I almost said Politoed. <laughs> um... I'm really excited about having Drizzle on Frog here. Alright, this guy's got two more Pokemon. Eradicate? Okay, we should be able to take this out with Frosty pretty pretty easily, I would I would assume. Even if it has I mean well, no, it's only level three. So yeah, I'm not worried about this at all. I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out right quick. One more Razor Leaf is going to knock out this Raticate, and then we are going to move on to... What? I always forget that Razor Leaf has like a 5% chance to miss. I always get super confused. It's Magical Leaf that can't miss. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so this Raticate is down. We're going to move on to this last Pokemon in this guy's party. See what it is. Hopefully it's not like a Kyogre or something. And Okay, Wilmer, well, we'll stay in. I guess I could have gone out into uh, Sparky. Probably should have gone out into Sparky. Ow. I don't understand. I will never understand how I miss... Like, I've missed like five Razor Leafs, and it's only episode two. <sighs> I don't know, man. No, I got a crit to make up for it. I think that's the first crit we've gotten with Razor Leaf, even though it has an increased critical hit chance. But we're going to uh, continue up, and this should be the last floor, right? Yep. All right, Master Ball or Lucky Egg? Sticky Barb. That's not terrible, I guess. Um, we're gonna fight this guy, and then uh, wrap up the episode after this. So let's see what this last trainer. Okay. Yep. Okay, so this thing has Psy Beam, so... Oh, it has Wish. Okay, well, we have... Oh, this is gonna be annoying, isn't it? We have Powder Snow. If you guys don't know, this is kind of a blast from the past, and a very sore subject. Pokemon for me, yeah, it has Psy Wave. Okay, that's not terrible, but Wish is gonna just... Arm us. We're gonna leer. Why am I leering? Powder Snow is special. And it's gonna keep using Wish. Okay. Um, I think the play here is to just do this again since it's gonna heal off the damage anyways. That way if we need to, we can just go out. Um Psywave is the one that has varying power as well. So we have to be careful about that. We can't really switch out into frog here 
I think Psy Wave is like the set damage one. Not necessarily set, but I don't. Oh my gosh, it's just gonna it's gonna keep using Wish, isn't it? Um, we're gonna we're just gonna entertain, see how much a Razor Leaf does, because I may have to use six Leers. Okay, that's actually pretty pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Leer this turn, and then it's gonna use Wish again probably. So I'll I'll Leer Leer and then Razor Leaf if this goes for Wish. Okay, yeah, so this just has... What was it? Psybeam? Psywave. Psywave. So yeah, so now the wish is going to come true. And we should be able to take this thing down. Okay, I'm, I'm happy that it used wish again. So, oh my gosh. Why? Latias, stop. What is this? Like, does Razor Leaf actually have, like... A 90% accuracy. It's gonna Psy Wave. I have to heal here, probably. Yeah. I have to heal just to be safe. Man, this stinks. I'm burning through my potions, too. I'm probably gonna have to leave uh, next episode to buy more potions before we hit um, the... the tower master okay just get a crit get a crit so i can stop <laughs> okay we didn't get a crit we use psi wave um as long as this doesn't do 16 okay i don't think psi wave can get crits okay if it uses wish here then we win or if we get a crit okay it doesn't outspeed us. Um, just don't miss. Thank you. Whew. I'll be honest. I saw... I saw our lives flash before our eyes. I have bad experiences with Latiases. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, he learned Icy Wind, okay, as opposed to Powder Snow. I thought he already had Icy Wind, and I was really confused there. So let's see, that's a special. Icy Wind is also special. Yeah, look at that. 55% accuracy. That's insane, or 95% accuracy, that is insane. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just, it's insane that I missed like four Razor Leafs in this episode alone. Also gonna do this before I forget. But okay guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Um, I hope that you enjoyed today. We are going to kick off next episode in Sprout Tower. We're going to take down the rest of these trainers and then we're going to battle the Tower Master and head straight to the gym after that. So thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and leave a like comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.